Peep this wom, or should I say peep this word of mouth. We're here with another episode. I'm here with the team, and we got some things we want to speak about. You know God did, we gone one, and everything we say is fire. So keep on watching us as we continue to grow with you guys. And the rest of those podcasts will retire. Let's Why are you hating on the other podcasts? I like up, some of them, man. Up. Not only what's will up? they retire, they will expire. Oh, yo, come on. Why are y'all double backing? Yo, 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 yo. So, guys, you know what's crazy? <laughs> we, we have been growing to higher heights and deeper depths. With our audience, 1,500 subscribers. 1500, thank y'all, mm-hmm. thank y'all, thank y'all. You know, we over 300,000 views. 300,000? Over 300,000 300, views. And we want to continue to say like, comment, share, and subscribe. Check us out where? YouTube.com slash Peep This All right, where should they go on Instagram? Peep This Wom. P-E-E-P-T-H-I-S-W-O. And if we're on TikTok, bro, which we are? Peep this wom. That's peep this word of mouth. P-E-E-P-T-H-I-S. Word of mouth podcast. I think it's too much of a word. You know what? If you mess it up one more time, you're going to go missing off this podcast. Yo, chill, chill, chill. You can't say that. We got to lose Podcast. Remember, peep this word of mouth podcast. On your Amazon Echo on all your devices. Join the gang. Yo, he will not go missing. Do not listen to the John say that is wrong. He will be just fine. You know, it's all for entertainment purposes. Check the phone. In case he goes missing. (laughs) Check out our our HR department, which is in the comment section. Be a part of it. Be a part of this. Check us when you need to. So, my bro, I see you have a powerful quote, King. Yes. Let's Let's get into it. it. Let's start it off right. Let's go. Letting go means to come up to the relation to come to the relation the realization that some people are a part of your history but not a part of your destiny. So letting go means to come to the realization that mm. some people are part of your history but not a part of your destiny. That's Steve Maraboli. Which is true. How many people you got in your history? What you talking about, just in general? <laughs> like, every year I cut people off. Every year I have, I call it spring and winter cleaning. I go really? through my phone. I'm dead serious. Yeah, I, I, I've heard you talk about that. Uh-huh. Ask the You'll see. Just, I go on my phone. I'm just like, doop, doop, doop. Because sometimes you realize that, listen, we could have a great history together. We could have done some great things. Mm-hmm. But as I grow, I realize that I can't take you with me. Not everyone's supposed to come to that next step. See, a journey, sometimes there's forks in the road, and we want to bring everybody with us. And sometimes you got to know, nah, can't. What do you think, bro? No, there's um, definitely, I like how you said that you do a cleanup. I do a social media cleanup, a phone cleanup. Okay. Um, email cleanup is constant, you know, really? like you're constantly cleaning out your inbox. Right. But there's a constant, like, during the seasonal winter and all this, there's a new... January, February, new seasons and all this. Yeah, I definitely will go through. Because not everybody's meant to go with you to the, to the next level as you're rising. You notice as you evolve, even the plant, as it's starting to change, it's going to get new soil. You have to get into a new planter. You're going to have to change it. You're going to have analogy. to get into a new atmosphere. It's kind of like the same thing. You're going to need a new atmosphere, whether it's, hey, there's a new location we started meeting up at, or a new coffee shop Wise told me about I got to start stopping by. You're going to change. You're going to evolve. I'm not going to, I can't, I've let go of plenty of circles. Mm -hmm. This is now my main circle. This and like one circle, the work circle. Next is the inventor circle, which, you know, we have partners and friends from that. But those friends were solid friends and they're still here because we evolved together. Right. It's what can our friendship bring us now that we're getting to this next level. John, say you look like you got something to say. You look like you got something powerful over there. He had a big grunt early. I know, right? (laughs) Well, I would have to say it's, if you can't, come to a place and space of introspection and time of solitude, how could you be able to ever make those decisions? A lot of the times we get so caught up in the hustle and bustle, we don't take time to stop and really reassess our lives, Mm. reassess the the roles that people play in our lives. And I never forget, my coach always said this thing. He said, he was like, don't worry about it, man. Whenever you used to do the tryouts for the football team, the dead wood is going to cut itself. Yeah, I've heard that before. That the I've dead heard. wood is going to cut itself. They won't make it. You know, after a while, it's like you can't fake the funk. It's like... But what about when you're trying to carry dead weight? 
when you're trying to carry dead weight. Because that happens in family, relationships, work, mm-hmm. learning how to let go, realizing that they're not a part of your, your destiny, but they're a part of your history. Well, I would say, me personally, per se, when it comes to carrying dead weight, it's at what level you want to do it, right? Because that's where you come with the term, you know, love from a distance, right? We can be cool, but I don't have to put enough uh, burden on me, you know what I'm saying? Or any other person to be like, I'm going to do and carry this dead weight. Like, all right, cool. Like, we see what it is in the parameters, but it's like, eh, you kind of got to do your thing over there, you know? And it's, it's nothing but all love and stuff like that, but you got to do your thing. But as far as it goes, it's it's... How much you're willing to carry it? Are like you good? How much are you willing to carry it? Would you say you're good at letting go then? You sound really good. But it's, it's like, it's, are you good at it, it though? I, I am good to it to a certain degree. Sometimes I am not. Sometimes I can just be like, I'll just cut off and just keep going. Then again, at the same time, that may not be so good to as well because sometimes you do want to keep bridges open still at the same time. You know what I'm saying? But if we know that, you know, this is not for us and this is not our season, then, you know, you know, we can we can fall back a little bit more. But I feel like at the end of the day, if no one's really supporting you, no one's really uplifting you, and you're always... I don't, I'll never forget, I, I sat down, I spoke with Makai about this. He was like, how many times you be sharing people's stuff? How many times you be promoting people's stuff and people can't even share and promote one thing that you do or we do or we work on? And it puts things in a lot of perspective. Like, do you really mean that? Do you care for me? Or how? And you start to evaluate, like, what is the depth of our relationship? People be like, yo, we friends. Like, nah, maybe we a really cool acquaintance. Well, I would, I would actually, at that point, use what we were talking about earlier when we were discussing this in terms of learning to curb your expectations beforehand. So that way, like, in this situation, you obviously got you to let go of what you want from that person, learning that they won't be the destiny of you having them as that form of support. But allowing people to be people, allowing people to be not and not. It's kind of like that, that um, Lao Tzu saying, uh, not Lao Tzu, I think it's a Buddha saying like, you know, do your work, but don't set no store aside it like expectations pretty much in a sense. Like you do your thing, but like don't expect nothing much of it. People are people. They come, they go. If they are willing and deciding to stay, then they're willing to decide and say that's a, a plus, a positive. I gotta say on that on that note, that's a that, good, that's a good. You know, you threw me an alley oop. Like I gotta say, especially you know, relating to the quote, I don't think it's as easy as people say it is. Uh, not, like not the quote, as easy as what the quote. You know, uh-huh. learning to let people go because we are people are who the human beings are who they are because of our attachments to each other. And I'm not saying the quote is bad. It's actually fantastic. Mm-hmm. I just think that it's. It's actually harder to execute than we really realize. But anything good for you is hard to execute. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Anything. You know? Um, but so I would ask you, so what makes it so difficult for you? For me, it's just because I genuinely care about people a lot. I care about people a lot more than they realize. Mm-hmm. Like, I know I come off as stern or I come off as harsh or no. whatever, or firm. <laughs> you know, I do. This this, this <laughs> the sweetest guy I know. <laughs> but, uh, if, he, if by sweet, he means the most sour than you. <laughs> you uh, I don't get an A-yo? You want an A-yo? I meant for that to throw some humor, man. I'm trying to... If you blush, then I would have been like, hey, I'm, I'm you, know, you know what, though? Because he's like sour pass. First they're sour, then they're sweet. Kaya <laughs> <laughs> would know. He oh, would know. Yo, check him in the comments, H.R. Oh, check him in the comments. Check him for Send wanting. Yo, check get, him for wanting an A.O. Who a wants an A.O.? Yo, we need a specific A.O. <laughs> H.R. team. You, you want to know what? It's like Cameron. He wants a pause. Pause. <laughs> Yo, you want, I'm, I'm begging. Give me a pause. Yo, no, he's not begging for a pause. Nah, but like for me, it's not easy because like I yeah. genuinely care about people and I care Definitely. about them a bit too much. I talk about it in therapy. It's like I, I, I care. I talk. I think about my friends a lot more than my friends probably know or that they think about me. I don't call it an obsession. I just call it um, too much compassion. Mm-hmm. Do you call do you call your friends your friends or do you view and identify them as your family? I have a, that's a different situation, but they're included in that. Oh, okay. They're also okay. included in that. Okay. And it's hard to let go because even when you have difficult times with some people, you still think about the good times. Or like even when you have difficult times with some people like family, mm-hmm. it don't mean you don't love them. 
Like you can yeah. not like somebody like so much, but you still have love for them, so you're concerned. Yeah. And sometimes letting go is difficult because you may be in a good mood one day, and then it's like, you know what? I'm in a good mood. Let me give that one person a call. You know, maybe it'll be different this time. And then you know, it don't ever go like that, though. No, right. It don't ever go like that. Maybe not all the time, though. But it's a coin flip. It is a coin. It is. It's it a is. Coin flip. It is. I would say more so. Yes, I agree with you. Like maybe eighty percent of the time is. Still the same. See, he's right. 80%. He's yeah. 80 50. But there is a, a, a flash in the pan that, yes, it and could be a little bit more different. But that's Things the, could turn around. That's the problem. It's that hope small. right there yeah. that makes us not able to let go. That, But that's what makes us human. But You're right. And that the fear, though, is like if you hold on too much, mm. right, look what's going to happen to your destiny. Your path can change. Mm-hmm. There's things that you might invest in. People instead of investing in things, things, and you give time to people instead of giving time to your things, you know. And then what happens, bro? What happens? Oh, now you're stuck. You're simp. exactly you're simp, broke, lost everything. The, you have no motivation. The mm. perfect example Again. of that: men that get stuck on sex, chasing tail oh. instead of mm-hmm. chasing profits, and then you. Mm-mm. It's the ta- tailors all the time. Yo, you get but, so but, stressed. But you know what's interesting about ta- chasing tail and profit, right? What's up? Yo, you ever you ever noticed that you ever had like a, a bad shorty, mm, right? Yeah. That's a little bit older. Yeah. And yeah. And, and you really <laughs> wish you really wish they had money to yeah. come drop some money on you. Yeah. So what's the social this media guy. topic of the day? Uh, this guy. So our social media is from Meshida, Meshida Comedy. He's a Japanese comedian. Uh, he talks about Japan and culture. And then this one, he talks about the epidemic. Well, I'm calling it epidemic. But there's a, there's a thing about, you know, sugar mamas and dating older women. You know, a, a man's favorite pastime. You know, shout out, to, shout out to Chris Jenner. You know, hit me up. But can we have our social come in, please? Recently, there is an app that has been getting a lot of attention. It's a matching app for mama cats or sugar mommy activity called Silk. Only middle-aged women and young male college students can use it. Silk promotes the service as an app for older women who are looking for young men and young men who are interested in mature women. But basically, it's for middle-aged women who want to play kissy face with young men and young men interested in older women's money. Surprisingly, now Silk has almost 1 million users. Unfortunately, the number of mamas or female users is far less than that of young male students. It's very difficult to find a new mama. Unlike papas, mamas prefer mature men for an affair. Mamas before a mature man for an affair. Mm. Mm. So before we get started, yes, I want to ask you guys some stuff about you know sugar mamas and dating them and all that other good yeah. stuff that we always do on Peep the Swamp. But I'm gonna you know throw a few things at you, yeah, some, give me some definitions. Numbers. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so a sugar mama is usually, and this is according to Sugar Daddy Sites Pro. It was actually very damn. So you had to go to a sugar daddy. I to actually had to go to a sugar, sugar daddy sugar mama. <laughs> wow. Man, that's you're man explaining right now. I'm just, I, you, I'm yo, just man, playing. that's what we do on Peep the Swamp. Man explain. No, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, <laughs> I don't agree to that. I, don't loop me up with that. I'm, no, but she, it, it was actually very difficult to find aspects of sugar mama st- uh, stats. No, it's yeah. very, very hard, difficult. Very yeah, it's not as easy as you think it is. So I had to go to a site that um, it's trusted by Men's Health, uh, GQ, and some other okay. magazines. Mm-hmm. You know, Esquire magazine. Okay. Okay. So if, if this is bad, you know, blame them. They got the same stats. So according to Sugar Daddy Sites Pro, can't believe I'm saying mm-hmm. that. Right. <laughs> a sugar mama is usually a mature older woman between the ages of 35 to 55. I don't know, 35 seems kind of young, but hey, hey, mm-hmm. it is what it is. Mm-hmm. She's married or divorced, and sometimes with children. Judge, you okay over there? Look like you got an itch you need to scratch. You look like you done met a few of these mm. before. Yeah, there's a couple of them running. All right. running She's six. Around. She's successful. She has a successful career and spends money easily. So then, would you probably say that she's probably a high value woman? Yes. Okay. All right. You know. Uh, she, yeah. If she could spend money so easily, okay. okay. She's got money. She has got money. I mean, she. Has, I, mean, she, has, I, mean, she, I mean, she. She. Yeah. yeah she's she's I got agree. A good but I'm saying career. what they say is high value for men and women is two completely different things, though. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then another aspect is that she has unfulfilled needs. 
a sugar baby can satisfy. So apparently you can't get it just from, you know, a regular relationship. It has to be a sugar baby. So what does a sugar baby provide, though? That's the key point. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. yes. It needs to be one of these few things. A sexual partner. Okay. Someone who will satisfy her needs without the drama present of a traditional romantic relationship. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. All right. Yeah. Arm candy. Somebody to just accompany, you know, you know, when you go to affairs and whatnot. Someone to spoil because... I guess since it's a mother, motherly figure, they want to spoil usually a cup, okay. as we all mm -hmm. know. And then someone, this is the key one, to control. Mm. This is where it gets a little bit spicy gets, and messy. It gets, it gets dominatrix. Because usually mm -hmm. when people talk about sugar, sugar daddy, you know, sugar baby things, it's usually an aspect of control. So it's the same thing on the other gender. You think so? Well, we'll talk about it. Okay. With all that being said... Why do you guys think that men want to be with sugar mamas? Jesus. Straightforward. The cash, man. <laughs> so man, like Messi just said, it's for the cash. Man, looking for the money. Yo, my man's trying to get a little allowance. He's trying to get a couple of PS5s. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a couple? Right. A couple of PS... Yeah. Hell yeah, A couple man. of PS5s. I mean, that's the most obvious... That's the most, that's the most obvious one that I can think of. Like, it's another source of income like so if, why not if you could just be a piece of arm candy you know s smash an older shorty you know perform cunnilingus and stuff <laughs> like that you could get 5k a month you wouldn't do that well to that point one of the things that sugar babies actually get out of it is a monthly allowance and according yeah, to do. according to sugar daddy sites dot pro once again mm -hmm. and just saying mm -hmm. if a sugar mama wants a steady relationship with one or more dates per week she usually is willing to cover an allowance. The average rate is around $3,000 per month. Okay, well, we've seen reports of sugar babies getting $15,000 per month. Okay. On the higher end, yeah. On the higher end. So, you know, if you swing in some real sugary candy, you may... Didn't mm. you have a number of how many sugar mamas is around in this world? Or was oh, it 300,000? Okay. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. It's about no, no, no. Actually, thousand, right? according to Seeking Arrange Seeking Arrangement, one of the largest, most recognizable sugar dating platforms in the world. Only about 500,000 sugar mamas world. worldwide, wow. worldwide, compared to 3.5 mil sugar daddy. Would you guys think that's oh. because women tend to want more traditional relationships and the idea of being a sugar mama is a very... When I, look, when I looked it up, yes, that is the number one reason. They still want to be taken care of. They still implement the gender role thing. And also, too, if you really think about it, that's this is something as of recent. It's still kind of pretty much very new, but... It will grow over time, but there will still be a, a large gap, I still feel, in between. Like, the sugar daddy thing is always going to run more dominant. That's what I feel. I'll say for me, when I have looked into the idea of being mm -hmm. a sugar baby, mm -hmm. for me personally, it wasn't necessarily even for the money, even though it would be nice. But it was really for the, um, for the networking. Mm. Uh. Not even going to front. Like, I was like, yo, call me what you want. I'm willing to donate some... Um, some Uber meets for a good networking opportunity. I'm right. not going to front. Pay for a music video. Yo, I'm not going to lie. What about <laughs> you guys? Is that wrong? <laughs> See, you know what it is? Ain't, ain't, ain't this the... I was just saying. <laughs> 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 I've done that. I've dead oh, serious. Like, yeah. Oh, scoot. Like, dead serious. You remember so the one? Speak on it. Yeah, speak on it. Remember. Speak you on remember it. She, she was, was older. Brand too. She was dropping money, and she had friends in the media industry and network and all that, and it was like, this is where I want to be. Like, she's... Top exec for Ralph Lauren and stuff like that. Oh, you're that snitching, bro. Lauren. They don't never know her. I <laughs> you're mean, snitching. How many top exec? Not, not anymore. What year? Which <laughs> yeah. year? What year? You guys yeah. don't know. Okay. But I'm not going to say the other brands. Mm. <clears throat> but, like, you know, it's it's a, it was, it's was comfortability. Like, you're getting everything taken care of. Like you said, deliver the Uber meats, the great kind of lingus for what? So then Good vitality? Vitality in youth? So then mm -hmm. why is it that... Fun? I mean, this is me going off the, like, I'm shooting from the hip then, but then why is it that men are more inclined to deliver on the sexual side of, a, of the um, right. sugar relationship as opposed to women? Is it because they get pregnant, or what do you guys think? Say that last part again. So, like, men uh, will deliver, but the women won't deliver on the sugar daddy. But the ba this, sugar babies will deliver on sugar mamas. A male sugar baby will deliver, but a, a female sugar baby is less inclined to. Why do you think that is? Even though they're getting more financial stability oh, yeah, there. Yeah, way more. It's, well, that's why I was trying to, like, interject from early on before. I think it's, it's a lot more to do with control because even though they know they have this opportunity to do it, 
if they can get it without having to do anything at all or spread their legs or anything, they'll definitely do that because, let's be honest, are they really physically attracted to them? But then, if that's the case... I'm talking about for the sugar to, sugar yeah. babies. Sugar baby to, the, to the sugar daddy, yeah. But then at that about. point, aren't they more replaceable than the men? Because at least the man is entitled... To the, there's more requirements to be a male sugar baby than it is to be a female sugar baby. Mm, so, yeah. doesn't that make female sugar babies more replaceable? They're yeah. a dime a dozen on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah really. I, I think, yeah, I think it could make them more replaceable. But I think, even though you know, I hate using this terminology, even though the guy is coined as alpha and he has all the bread and he's giving it to her, he's still not simp. That's what I feel. He's still a simp just to be like, I'm around the presence of this beautiful shorty, and in particular, I want to be with her. So they kind of give him like leeway. Mm -hmm. Th that's what I feel. I don't know. What, what do you think? Look like you had a jolt. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, no, I'm agreeing with you. Oh, okay, okay. I'm agreeing with you. Do you guys think that sugar mama, sugar baby relationships can actually last long term? No. Really? Sugar, sugar baby to sugar, sugar daddy? Sugar, mo sugar mama, sugar baby. Sugar mama in a cup. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Really? No. Sugar mama to sugar? There's a very small percentage of men that's going to, who loves older women to that extent. Okay, that's right? true. Mm -hmm. After a while, the younger one is going to want children and stuff, and maybe she can't provide those things. Mm -hmm. the second thing that I think also is, after a while, as they get older, as men age, mm -hmm. they tend to want to go younger. Okay. All that right? Is, that tends to be natural. Natural. For most men, yes, right? That tends to be most men tend to want to date younger women, right? Mm -hmm. So as she gets older and up in age, after a while, if you have start getting your own money... Mm -hmm. Would you want, do you care if you, somebody else is giving you money? Because when you're young okay. and you're getting, and you don't have a job, and she's giving you 5, 10K mm -hmm. yeah. or whatever, that's, that's oh my gosh, that's, I'm stunned. I'm, I'm living life. Yeah. But when you can make 10K mm -hmm. to follow somebody else to tell you these rules and stipulations that you have to abide by, I think after a while, a guy would be like, I'm off this. Mm -hmm. Cause, cause when you start making money for yourself, then you don't really care about somebody else giving you money. It's an additive bonus, but it is. but to follow rules and stipulations, and how, she might even give you a curfew. Like some of these, when I was looking no, at it, some right. of it could uh, get strict. Yeah. Oh yeah, like they give it's you rules. They, so so yeah. so for them, it's a lot more. It's a lot more rigid compared to the sugar daddy. Yeah, because yes. because a guy yeah. could just be like, just you're you're beautiful. I just may never get me. the box. Yeah. You be around me and yep. I'll give you 2K. Or they'll even pay you to be around them and not even try to hit. Just that's to, just to that's what, just right. that, like, yep. like, like they said, just for arm candy. Mm -hmm. So basically what you're saying is that you think that, like Meshida was saying, like with um, Silk, like with the Mamakatsu situation, it's pretty much just for the cash. Yeah, and, and, and that's why you said something that was interesting. They prefer more mature men. But after a while, those, did say that. those mature men, I think, is going to, unless they already have their family, they already have mm -hmm. their... Kids, when I say family kids, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. they they probably will stick around for that. But as you get older, I still believe strongly young younger cubs is easier to manipulate to mold, yeah. and yeah. mold and keep around. But after a while, they're gonna get tired of that. Mm -hmm. They are gonna rebel. Mm -hmm. Some of them will live a dual lifestyle. Right. But I mean. going going back to the <clears throat> thing, since you said they had rules and stipulations and they yes. were strict, yes. do they allow a lot for if if like how wise guys said, do they allow a lot for that for them to come into their social spaces and status quo yeah, and yeah. allow them to network? Well, they're fine with that. Yeah, too. that's why you have arm candy. Okay. Yeah, but I'm but saying I'm saying how often. the babies like. But at the, at the end of the day, you're paying to. They're paying you for a service, and they're paying you still to act a certain way. So ultimately, you're kind of still on a leash. Yeah. And you don't want the hand that feeds you. Put this yeah. suit on, and this is how I need you to carry yourself. Don't act up. Don't open your mouth. Sound like you know from, sometimes, from experience. Well, sometimes, yeah, yeah, sometimes, yeah. You walk in, and they're dressing you legit. That is true. Y you came in with an intention, and this is not the intention. This is not the look. This is not the smell no, I need you. No, they, I need you this way to the, yeah, to, to the finest team. and you gotta be they're speaking way. on your behalf mm -hmm. <clears throat> so they don't even allow you to talk yeah sometimes yeah. they will but there's, there's so. different ones different rules different the arm candy but. the arm candy yeah. once again you just did to look good you just yeah. did to yeah. look good you just did to look good and make me feel good mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. be careful what you swipe on that's why I say young man be careful what you swipe on and what you're what you're looking for out there when you're dating a cougar or an older woman because especially now you're getting like we said 35 year old women who are got their masters, doctorates, and whatnot. They're teachers. They're very smart women. And some of these young men, they, you guys are cute. But y'all, you know, you got to 
dads didn't teach you what to look out for, what not to look out for, what, you know? So I want to, before we, I know we still got to, yeah, uh, you still good to keep going? Yeah, go ahead. All right, cool. Go ahead. So I'm going to ask you guys just one question, but before yeah. that, I'm going to preface it with some more information from sugardaddysites.pro. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So one of the questions that I guess some people look for when they're searching around if they want to have this relationship is, do sugar mama relationships include sex? You know? So, mm -hmm. fair question. Yeah. And in the article, it says, platonic, re platonic sugar relationships are possible, but extremely rare. Typically, rare. a sugar mama seeks yeah. a younger person for sexual purposes, although they also enjoy a platonic dating staple, like exchanging gifts, going on dates. So basically, you still got to come with something as a man. Yes. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. And traveling together. A financially stable older woman is rarely interested in a platonic companionship. Yes. Right. So That's correct. with that, I wanted to ask you then, mm -hmm. why is there seemingly less male sugar baby j slash gigolo activities than female ones? Because sex sales, women hold the keys to that way more than men. Not saying that men don't, but they hold the keys to that. Of course. Um, Some men are flaky also. Some men are in this type of in a sugar in this type of situation. They're flaky where it's like she's asking for all this, and you're like, "Well, I I can do some of this. I don't want to do all of it because it's too much sacrifice to myself. Because this is a lot you got to give up. You're giving up all your free time. You're giving up freedom. You're giving up your friends. You're giving up a lot of your family time, oh, goals, wow. freedoms, hobbies, stuff like that for this. Oh, it's very demanding, man. Wow. Yeah, so you're, you're asking a lot to change it's who like you are. It's a job job. It is. It, it is. How do you think you're getting $15,000 a month? This is a guy. You re you really, you're really embedded with her. You're really making a life <clears throat> with her. There's some conversations you're not going to be able to have. You're not allowed to have. You're going to have to really dial back and put down and say, you know what? This isn't for her. I got to have another friend to talk about this with because this isn't, we can't talk about this ever. And she, she could be right most of the time like she doesn't want yeah. too much input yeah. input of yeah. course i'm pretty sure because it's i mean <laughs> at the end of the day don't get me wrong i said i'm interested in sugar activities it don't bother me but you are interested hell yeah i've always been interested oh wow mm. listen I'm, i told you yo chris jenner what to do i'm not joking seeking <laughs> arrangements you can go on there. The dating aspect and whatever but like for the networking purposes for yeah. the business purposes i completely understand but at the end of the day you're doing it for the cash, and ultimately, if you're going to back out of it, she can always find another person. Of course. Maybe somebody true. better than you. Maybe she can buy, find a better cup. So, so you're <laughs> willing to be a sugar baby? Within reason. Within reason. What's your reason? He's a gigolo. I'm a <laughs> so, 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 man. Cancel. <laughs> we can't. <laughs> may I ask this question, guys? Oh, here we go. 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 So. Here we go. Your sugar baba wants you to eat the butt. <laughs> Why are you always coming back to this? <laughs> You're always coming back yo, to this. Yo, bro, bro. He's always coming. Yo, HR. Yo. You're going to have to eventually succumb. No. Bro, she's, I guess I'm not making $15,000. I'm like, a month. No, I'm not doing it. For 50 No, no I'm not salad. doing it. You might as well do it for so you leave in the morning. Telling me, you, don't know. you telling me you wouldn't toss a salad for fifteen k a month. Would you? I asked you first. I'm asking like, you sexy. Second. Nah, sexy. Hey, don't be gay. <laughs> HR feel like I'm being assaulted in. I'm not uh, doing it. Are you doing no. it? No, I, I, I said I 15. Said no. uh, not he said not no. even 20. No, are you 20 doing it? 20 with the promise of, of, of getting a signed deal. No. For, for, for your music. No. Would you? Lies. You lie. <laughs> you have a blood clot liar. Just Did because you come out this up. Just because <laughs> you want to put your tongue in between wet cookies don't mean I want to. <laughs> wet cookies. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> wet cookies. I like that. That's a good one. I like that. That's funny as hell. Would you? And you ain't no, 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 don't let him off. Can't answer the question. Would you? Can't answer the question. We already know efficient. Answer. <laughs> Why you listen, put him up in the book? No, because he would for fifteen k. For, for, for my show. Shorty, that's the that's furthest. My man, bro. That's, that's you do, no, so you do it for, for free. My shorty, if that's the furthest extent I'd ever do anything and stuff like that, but it got to be cleaning out the shower, dog. 
So you taking a peg from your sugar mama? No, bag? I'm not doing that. No, <laughs> not for a hundred thousand. He would though. <laughs> <So> <laughs> you wow! Why you <laughs> keep going? <laughs> he he <laughs> would. Though. He, he didn't. He didn't. Uh, he, he didn't say nothing. Nah, he I didn't. Some, you I would. Some wild ass like. Sugar mamas, dog. Like I've met some wild ones that I are. They got the power. And you had both of them pegged at once. <laughs> no. <laughs> what the? Wild, wow, wild. Nah. I mean, like if you really <laughs> do the alternative, <laughs> alternative lifestyle, you can tell alternative right. lifestyle mm-hmm. living, mm-hmm. and you start finding out. Oh, oh, you own multiple business. Oh, you own a ch- franchise. Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh, you are. This is king. Okay, mm-hmm. what are we doing here? And then they're now, doing you. <laughs> right. So, 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 so mm-hmm. even mm-hmm. those, you are gonna be carrying yourself. Very gentlemanly in public because she knows there's a lifestyle why she you, protects. Why you me. let yourself get, get get thrown out of that lifestyle so easily, man? Oh, I'm not I'm not thrown out. I'm still there. Oh, you're still I'm there. Still there. I'm still getting, there. Oh. He be getting them racks. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh, You just got to wash them in the shower before you go play with the oh, booty. Right? Uh, listen, Make sure you listen. wash them first. Well, listen. Wait, 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 wash, wash, them wash them or wash them? Wash them. Wash, wash, wash. Oh, wow. You wash okay. her. Thorough. Rinse and repeat. Because you know that UTI is when they get up in age, it starts running rampant. So, you know, you. Yeah, you gotta start giving them that proof. You gotta start giving them that proof. You guys are horrible people. Get, get yeah, up I on care your for her. <laughs> get up on your prune and cranberry. Listen, yeah. you, gotta, you gotta throw us a line to me and Wise Guy over here. we willing to work. Okay, so this is what are we gonna get on? Seeking arrangements, right? Or we I got one oh, question. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's yeah. how I put my statistics Or, I mean, there's also. Yeah, uh, exactly. mm-hmm. see, yeah. There's also the, if you wanna do it discreetly, there's Ashley Madison. Oh, uh, there's okay. older on national. So, what is it? Been on there for two months. I've, I, not two months. But I did do my research. Lifestyle. I did do my research, okay. and um, right. the catchphrase is um, "Life is short. Why not have an affair?" Oh, mm. ah, that's right. That's, Respect. Yeah. Oh yeah, that I I found that's part of statistics. Most of them are married women. So before oh, I, before we wrap women. this all up, I want to ask everybody on this mm-hmm. platform. Yeah. What is your going rate as a sugar baby? Your monthly rate. You gonna start with Makaya. So you have to, you have to give. <laughs> got it. Okay, we gotta yeah. give a price. Go ahead. All right. Um, Let's be real. He's very three, high three, high. nah, three thousand. Are oh, you you underselling three, everybody, three, man? Three, three thousand, three to five, three to five. And what what comes with it is, <laughs> on, no, I have no, to Gina, no, sell it, sell it, sell no, it. No, no, what sell comes it. with it is un, it. unlimited, uh, unlimited attention. Unlimited. Right? Meaning like At the anytime, top of a dime. anytime you hit me up, I will respond. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Right? You get the text message. You get okay. the morning text. You get the voice message. notes. I will, I will plan dates. <clears throat> okay. I will plan rendezvous. Of course, we're going to, out of my money, that's going to happen. But you give me, I'm paying for these things. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, you know, I'll make sure I'll be your chauffeur, take you to your doctor's appointment. <laughs> Yo, and stuff like you make know, make sure you yeah. rub the ointments, ointments, oh, yeah. everything that Ointment she needs. Oh, you know? you're minutes up. You sold yeah. it. Uh, what else? Uh, 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 keep it short. Uh, you gotta, man, you gotta my keep my going rate. I am pretty pretty cheap. I'm a cheap one. Okay. Yeah, so I might be a. So you a dirty hoe? But, yes. but, <laughs> but if you talk, why are you making mad stacks? Why are you talking about you talk that? Mad stack. I mean. Five about, to ten, right? I was going to say probably four grand. So it's you mean four you grand don't a month. You date oh, okay. Well, yeah, because you're going to get unlimited. A, a you're going to get the unlimited emotional support via mm-hmm. all text, phone calls. Mm-hmm. You're going to get your gas always pumped in your car, always gas in your yeah. car. Cars always taken mm-hmm. care of. You're going to get the clean house all the time, mm-hmm. trash and all That's that. That's cheating, man. That's just your job. Yeah. You're going to get so much with this that life is kind and of simple. And you're going to get your And living. you're getting yeah. the, you're getting yeah, the, the, the dates. And so eye candy, arm candy. Ah, uh, you selling it too much. What about All the right. Jante? Right. Four grand, baby. Ooh. Okay. My, my rate would be like five to six. That's not. Yeah, he's got the muscles. He got the muscles. He's light He got the height. Uh, he hey, coochie cool. 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 So one thing for sure you're gonna get, you're gonna get nice sensual massages. Endless you're gonna, tickles. You're gonna, you're gonna get, you're gonna get, listen, you're gonna get yes. tickle gang. You're gonna get tickle gang up top, tickle gang, tickle gang down, lock, down low. Sorry, I'm messing up my words, I'm gonna get tug tied. Uh, they're gonna get tug tied on them. Foot massages, uh, butt massages. Uh, air massages, all kinds of massages. Booty hole licking massages. Nah, nah. <laughs> I right, so six days. Listen, listen. I'll throw down for you. Listen, I'll talk to you. I'll, and I love to cuddle. I'll cuddle with you a lot. You know what I'm saying? I'll make sure you're nice and warm. I'll spoon you. Right, I got to cut you off. You're you selling it. Right, what about North you? Carolina? Just right, I'm keep I'll it. even shower you. Okay. That's a good one. That's uh-uh. a good one. I'm trying to get the bonus. I'm going to I'm I'm be nice here. I'm going to undercut everybody. I'm going to go for 250 I'm gonna go for 2,500 just oh. to undercut oh, you I guys. Oh, I thought you meant 25 dollars. All right, <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> two No, I thought you said 250 a month. Oh. Yeah. Uh. I'm gonna go for 2,500. Okay. I'm gonna do everything that they do, but better, except eating booty cookies. Oh lord, I never said that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you I love you. 
I'm gonna cook for you. Mm -mm. I'm gonna go to all your family events and all your professional events. Mm. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do all your chores. I'm gonna hire him to do the house cleaning. Got me. And then above that's all else, double, that's double for you. Yeah. Exactly, it's double work for you. But no pay for that. Hey, hey that's how we do. <laughs> and then above all else, I'll rub your feet uh, and your back. Underneath the stimulation, you let him network. Yeah, it's business. You gotta, yeah, let, him business. You gotta let him network. It's business. Though. You know, twenty five hundred. I'm the cheapest here. Come on, that you know what should it is. be in every contract with that control. Is that you do get some type of network towards a a retirement plan? I mean, if you can oh, negotiate man. it, that's, that's sure. Yeah, put that if in. If you there. can negotiate it, mm -hmm. we keeping y'all game. You know, just like with sugar mamas and sugar babes, right? Sugar babes can be replaceable, mm. right? Mm -hmm. So the topic of the night. Right? Let's switch it just a little bit, right? Yeah, let's Talking see. about being replaceable. How replaceable are you in a relationship? Right? And I, was, I came up with this because I was talking to one of my friends, and he was telling me about the shorty. And he was like, she's not texting him like he used mm -hmm, to, mm -hmm, not mm -hmm. reaching out like she used to. And I was like, bro, she's just not into you anymore, bro. Just not into you. Like so, so to be replaceable is when your role in a relationship is easily interchangeable with someone else without much fuss and fanfare. So my question, and I just have a few, but this should be a nice little dialogue. What are some telling signs that your relationship's over? So efficient, what would you say? What's some telling signs? She's just not into you, bro. Um, you become uh, emotionally distant. Mm. You reach out in conversation, ask questions, you're starting to get the yup, okay, sure, doesn't matter. Or you're just not getting any kind of response for a long period of time. She's mentally checked out. Mentally checked out. Elaborate just a little bit more. What do you mean mentally checked out? Mentally checked out means the more you try to understand her mind, her situation, her feelings, where her emotional status is, all the mind things that can whether it govern her body, her friendships, or whatever's on her mind, she no longer wants to let you into that. She has no energy to communicate to you about anything that's going on in any of those realms. She doesn't want to open herself up to you anymore and Ooh. say, hey, you can be involved in this in any way. She doesn't want to communicate or involve you in anything. I like that. Can I turn to you, why? Hmm. So, so what are some telling signs that the relationship is over? And this is for men. Yeah, this is for men. I'll go even further back before the relationship is to that point. Because sometimes you're in a relationship with somebody or a situationship or dating or whatever. Oh. When it feels like a chore to have to communicate with them, Ooh. you see, y'all already, already know how that feel. That's mm -hmm. probably the biggest one. It's like you can already see down the line. It's like, ah. You, you, now you know that there's there used to be a mutual effort, and now it's like, it's just me putting all the input in now. Or even if you don't want to, like, you know that you didn't want it to be a full-blown relationship, and it has for whatever or a number of reasons, and you're like, oh, now I got to carry this relationship. Mm -hmm. Would you guys recommend, and I'm shooting from the hip here, would yeah, you guys hip. recommend to a guy that he sees these telling signs? And we're going to go a little bit deeper. Yeah. Would you recommend him to continue to fight? I would say, because then part two don't come in. I would say, um, to a degree, and by fighting, I mean initiating the most important conversation you guys are gonna have, and that's what's going on right now. I add on to that, and I think from there you will get an understanding of you know through her body language, through what she says, how she says it to you, it's not also what you say, how you say it too you can see where you guys stand because that's going to be the checkpoint. All right, we've gotten to this, we've gotten to this bridge now. Um, are we going to dance or are we not going to dance anymore? Simply put. I, to add on to that, I would say if you know the person is worth fighting for because sometimes we, everybody reaches like a certain patch. Yeah. And whether it be a bumpy patch or you just don't know, Sometimes, but you know that the person is worth fighting for. You know that you have a good mm -hmm, partner. Mm -hmm. And for whatever reason, things got to where they are. I think that's when it would be worth it. Well, the and with well, that, that I, think, I like what you said, because if you've got a good partner, you'll have mutual understanding. 
So even if there's like, okay, well, I need to give you space, maybe a time off. That does happen. Then there's that, well, there's an understanding. I know that they meant well when they meant this. I know they meant mm. the best for me. If we come back together and you are exactly what I thought you were, then yeah. But if not, what? Well, yeah. Well, I'll say this. If if you know that it's something worth fighting for, okay, sure, fine enough. But if I come to you and I address you and I confront you about what's going on, something ain't right and you're not showing any effort or like you're just kind of like, eh, a uh, man and it's like, or you're not handling it in a um, adult kind of a way where, you know, not just communication, but coherent communication where, and, and sensible communication where we can understand each other and really hear each other's side, then I, I think that's when you have to just kind of cut your ends. Now, can you I go. challenge you? Yeah, go ahead. All right. challenge I have a question, challenge but I want you, I want you to get man. to your stuff. No, I want to challenge you, though, yeah. with this. You say if it's worth fighting for. He said if it's worth fighting for. I say if you have a partner that's like actually good, like a good partner. But, all right, so I, let me challenge you. Then, yeah, I, then two I, challenge. I feel like it's two mm-hmm. different contexts. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, two yeah, different. Yeah, two, so yeah, yeah, you're yeah. the one that said it. I'm no, sorry, right, guys. Fine, worry about it. All right, so you say mm-hmm. if it... Wait, you said if it's worth fighting for? If yeah. if if it's worth fighting for. Because not even Not even just worth fighting for, but even if it's not worth fighting for, I still think you should still take the same avenue and be like, what's going on? Because the challenge now be if it's worth fighting for, mm-hmm. why did it get there in the first place? Because there should have been communication. There should have been before you start seeing these red flags. When the when the flags go from green to yellow, mm-hmm. you should start be like, "Honey, what what's going on here? Is you something should, going?" Start, start well, but if it reached that sense. far, then how is it worth fighting for? That's just me being. Well, no, no, I like that. Playing devil's advocate. There's nothing wrong. How with many that. times have we walked around on? Was it fragile eggs? You mean, you mean walk around eggs? Yeah, eggs. Yeah, I, so eggs. I like that. What's fragile eggs? What, what, yeah. Eggs are fragile. Yeah, eggs no, are exactly. They're <laughs> hard boiled. Dinosaur eggs? <laughs> no, get it. Ostrich eggs. Ostrich eggs. But no, it's a lot of times those issues where we can't be transparent and honest. You've said that numerous times mm-hmm. on the podcast. Where it's yeah. early in the beginning, we're trying to be, as men, be honest with our emotions, honest with our feelings and what we're feeling. So when it does get to that point, it's we've been honest this entire time. Yeah. Right. We've been say, we've been transparent, and like you you said before, yeah. the tone matters, body language matters, and respect, respect, mutual respect, those especially for men. Yes. Oh yeah. Like it's women more. to men. Yes. Women to men. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because they sometimes draw a strong line that I don't like. But continue. Yeah, no, yeah, and yeah. that strong line of that that aggression and all that is what was passed it down and taught to them. They were brainwashed. Mm-hmm. Hey, well, I was just taught this right. is how you handle a man and this is how you treat a man. Because my watch my grandmother treat my her my grandfather this way. I'm my sure grandfather that worked was out this way to me. Right. I'm sure that worked out. Yeah. So so now to you now. Yeah. Since you said it. <clears throat> mm-hmm. You remember mm-hmm. what I said? Should yeah. I say it again? Say it so, one more time. So if mm-hmm. if it's worth fighting for, why did it even get there in the first place, basically, right? In a nutshell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if it's worth fighting for Ah, damn. I don't know why this drew a blank right now. No, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. About to so, be so so no, no, no. Uh, Okay. No, no, no. If it's if it's worth fighting for, I feel like maybe I, it's it's a part of us. I guess the human part of us to kind of always, like we said earlier before, pre podcast uh, recording, you know, hope and and having hope in people and that things could turn out better because we know things are not as pretty as they look or as right. they seem. Growth in itself is not pretty. Some days you're not at your you're not on your A game. Some right. days, you know, so I feel like maybe you'll give maybe a certain kind of period where it's like, all right, you know, I'm picking up these things. But I do feel like as we begin to evolve more, we should be checking up when green starts going to yellow. Right. The minute that starts happening, we do need to start addressing it. So I, I feel like it's on our part too to be very vigilant and aware of what's going on in the relationship. Right. Um, but I still feel like it's the hope in us to feel like, all right, maybe it's something we're fighting for. And I think out of the two particular sexes, a male and female, males are more so ingrained to be that way. We, we don't let up and give up so easy because we've been trained. It's been indoctrinated mm-hmm. in us. We don't just give up when times get rough. We keep pushing and we're, we're cut from a different cloth. Mm-hmm. So I think that's why most times, even though it may seem like you're beating a dead horse, like, guys just have that faith within them to keep trying 
and makes things worse. And sometimes, most times, it's to the detriment of us. That is true. How much so, time we got so left? Now, huh? How much time we got left? No, we okay. good. We good. I yeah. just wanted to make sure. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So, so for you now, right? You you mentioned you mentioned that if they're a good person or a good partner, good partner. Yeah. So that would imply that maybe it's on the male that maybe did something wrong. No. In the sense, because if they're a good partner, then you would want to do right by them. Right? Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll throw you a curveball. Go ahead. I'll throw you a curveball. What happens if you deal with somebody with a mental illness? What, if, what happens if you deal with somebody that's going through a strong bout of depression or a medical situation? Do I know? Yeah, like you know them. You know that no, they... No, that they have these issues. Yes, you know. Yes. And sometimes those things do become... They, they happen in your relationship and they become difficult to deal with. Yeah. You know that they're a good person, but they have these ailments or these weaknesses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So those are a little exceptions to the rule. Why I say just because if I had a partner, guys, mm -hmm. and I know they have mental illness and, mm -hmm. or depression, like what I have, and yeah. there's going to be down days and there's going to be things, and you should give enough grace yes. to deal with that. I can see that now, what you're saying, but... Mm -hmm. If they were a good partner, let's say it's not mental illness or, or a sickness that takes away energy and makes you not want to. Because if you had, like, the C word, cancer, mm -hmm. we know that you might not have the energy to fulfill, like, even clean or, or even love because you're going through something in your body that's foreign. So minus sickness, minus mental, what would make a person than a guy who has a good person, right? Mm -hmm. What would make him see that the relationship is not heading the way he, he wanted it to be. Well, there's another aspect of sometimes you have a good partner, but they're not the good partner for you. Like, that just happens. I've had people, you know, I've been with people and I haven't been the best partner for them. Not because I'm like out here scheming and doing a whole bunch of other stuff, but my lifestyle of being busy and a whole bunch of other stuff is not always conducive to what they want from me. Absolutely. As good as a person, as a partner that I am, I'm not being that type of person. So it makes it difficult for them to want to break up with me. And throw, so, in, the, then throw in the towel. And I, and I promote so, them to do that. So, throw so. in the towel. That, that, would be, that would be pretty messed up. If so, on them part, like they're good, but maybe they're not for you, then throw in the towel. Don't so, fight for it. And then you know you're not going to be good. Well, I would say, and I would interject mm. is, are, they, are, are you compromising? In what aspect? In a sense to... Because relationships need compromise, right? Agreed. That's a, that's a sign of a health. Any kind of relationship, not just romantic. There has to be some kind of compromise because you got to put yourself in that person's shoes and be like, all right, what can I do to facilitate your needs or whatever? Are you able to do that? Yeah. You usually do that, right? Correct. Much, probably more than my partners. It, and, and, and usually. There, and therein lies the thing. Do they appreciate it? I think it just fluctuates because people have their feelings. Right. Um, some days you care about it more. Some days you don't give a damn about it. Right. Um, but every day you're that same person and you have to still hold everything else together. Like there is, I think I had that, I, my kid's mom wasn't able to control or deal with who I was in all my past and what it is. So like you said, living depression, anxiety, <coughs> pardon me, sexual addiction for me, mm -hmm. alcohol addiction for me. Those are things that I could easily move forward with and live my life as a, good, a man, as a parent, all this. But could she be that partner in a relationship with me while I'm healing and being a healed person? No, because she had this expectation of me, but this is who I need to be. You know what I'm saying? Even as the business, even getting here, we have to right. be a certain way to get here. Exactly. Right. So well, it's, it takes a lot of work to be with somebody, it does. to deal with all that stuff off camera, you know? And well, I think that was what was hard. I, I wanted, some questions. No, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, I wanted to but say like to, the, to your aspect of, you know, the topic of are, are you replaceable or not? I mean, I've said this since I was 15 years old. You know, shout out to my guy, Carlos. I told mm -hmm. him this when we was in high school. I was like, yo, you'll never find somebody like me again. Mm -hmm. You will never meet someone like me. That is a fact. Mm -hmm. As hubris as that sounds, it's just me acknowledging that I don't think you'll ever meet somebody who was going to try for you as hard as me. Mm -hmm. But I'm still replaceable because as valuable as I am, I could be all this, but then you may still be okay with all of this in that other person. Mm, well, that is true, but that's true. go ahead, bro. I don't so, want to interrupt. This no, 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 that's quick. So you're saying it, is it re replaceable in the, in the aspect of um, 
in their obje- uh, I don't know what's the word uh, in their perspective is that what to, you're trying to say to make it easier like, like you you may believe that you're not replaceable per se but in their mind you're replaceable is that what you're saying I am an irreplaceable player the position I am playing in can be replaced. Okay. But I would say this, I would say this, uh, and this is a series that I want to continue on, how to become irreplaceable. irreplaceable. But if you are irreplaceable, like you are hitting all these things that majority of women have, like, mm-hmm. I promise you that you guys will be it, have this imprint on them. They will always think of you. There oh, yeah. is, there is women that... that Still hit me up from to this time day. to time. Quiet brag. The, no, Quiet brag. No, 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 but it's real, though. It's, 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 it's the truth? No, it's true. It happens. It happens. It happens. I've had this Where, where they be like, oh, how, how's how you life? Doing? How you doing? Hey, stranger. Hey, stranger. Hey, Man, they miss, they miss the things that you do because when they went out there, they realized a lot of people ain't doing what you're doing. Because there's only one official. There's only one DeJounte. You see my point. wise. You see my point. Right? But there's Only a lot of yeah, but there's a lot of other carbon copies out there. That's why when they sometimes go for the carbon copy, it they doesn't do. replace the original. So henceforth comes the dilemma: the right. grass is greener on the other side. Not argument. Always. Everyone yeah. thinks the grass is greener with the advent of social media and all of these things. They got everyone swiping and thinking that it's better over here. Right. And they realize, hold up, shorty. Shorty living in a bus down joint with, with, with cockroaches for her roommates and stuff. and But you portraying this thing and it's, you're not really that. The substance lacks. The grass is only green if you're both willing to water it. Right. You think it's greener, but it's so, just greener than what you think Henceforth, it is. water yeah. your bush. So when is it, when should a man throw in a towel? I'll tell you. Go ahead. When, when she not ready to give you the slap Anymore. That's when you throw in. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's some guy's answer. That is some guy's answer. No, 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 no. That's a fair answer. That's a very good point. That's a fair answer for a lot of men. Listen, listen. I'll say this. That is in culmination of other things like when she not, when she's not touching you anymore, yep. she's not engaged with you in a physical sense anymore. Come on, we ain't buddy buddy up friends. Like we we screwing each so other. So you're saying that your your that's love a, language that's an obvious physical thing. So huh? you're saying that your love language is physical touch, and there's a lot of people and, out there that would agree. With and you. I would I would argue and say if all y'all not gonna raise your hand that 99.9 percent of man's love communication is not physical it is that's how we bond with our woman there's true yo there. our bond with our woman is how we bond with our children as parents and, and, and think, fathers and quick, show it through touch right. and, and quick thing too as well like you know how that you we could separate you know sex from like you know love Romance and stuff like that fucking all Intimacy. that shit when you keep doing that repeatedly with this right. woman and you have these kind of um moments together eventually you as a man, you begin to fall in love with her. I agree. You begin to think future and head. Like, it's no longer sex. I'm fucking, it's like, I'm making love to my woman. So, so also, just to add before mm-hmm. I go on to one quick thing, right? Yeah. With, with sex, when it comes to sex, if a female is into you, you don't have to ask. You facts. shouldn't. You should she, never she, ask. She would give it. Yo, she facts. would give it. The, when you start having to ask and plead, and then she's not even that into it, watch that. All right, so I have Great a little. Point. Great point. I got a little thing that I want us to play, and I just just do a little quick thumbs up. Oh, all you, of, they you, never got to answer about throwing throwing in the flag. Oh, throwing the towel. I thought you did. Go ahead. What would um, you say? What would be for you? I mean, we don't have to always answer. It. It no, 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 but go ahead. No, we don't. Yeah, you sure? Yeah, let's go to the. Let's go to the. Yeah, all right. So all this right. this you. little game right yeah, here. Thumbs up if you should throw in the towels. All right. Thumbs down if you shouldn't. All I'm right? down with okay. that. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. She started giving you half-hearted responses. Thumbs down, throwing the towel. No, thumbs up, throwing the towel. Thumbs down, nah. She gives you half-hearted responses. Yeah. Thumbs up. <sighs> Can, Let me I, see. Let can, me we, see. can we can we get context or just like when so so all right if you want a little con- it's, context, I want a yes or no, but all right, she starts to respond, you notice know very hey, how are you doing? One word responses. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Throwing the towel. She asked fewer questions. Yeah, I used to have great dialogue. You might want to throw it on in. Throw in the towel, okay? She responds with monosyllables. You know what that is? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. She sounds disinterested. All right. Mm-hmm. She glorifies single life. Oh, 
Are we throwing in the towel? Yeah. Well, we'll give you two thumbs up. Two thumbs. Two thumbs up. Okay. For the street. Illuminati. <laughs> she flirts with others. Okay. She doesn't remember things you did together. Oh. I can't I can't say that because I be okay. forgetting things all okay. the time. All right. We got it. We're, I forget we're, things. What are you talking, bro? Okay, okay. I forget so, things. All right. I'm forgetful. She doesn't appreciate the things you do. Here's a little bit of context. Let's say you did something nice, romantic, little dinner, and she's like, oh, thanks. Extra and effort. You went extra mile. Stuff that she used to love, she doesn't appreciate anymore. Throwing a towel. Of course. Okay. She doesn't pay attention to you. Oh. If, if, <laughs> if, if it's my job to pay attention to you and learn about you, the hell you can't do the same for me? That's a two-way street. Come on. She's giving non-engaging replies. Sound like you don't even need to be with this person in the beginning. Hey, I'm just saying, like, I'm just trying to build some Why you get into a relationship with this type of person? There's a lot she, of she, she avoids spending time with you. She becomes all of a sudden very busy. I've been like that, but still, I can understand. And and you know what's you know what's funny about it? Like, we're not too vastly different. Like, like Shoy Shy always make it seem like it's just about it says like no, no. like when it comes to relationship. There's other things too. There's intimacy. That, that dude's need, yeah. Building. Like That's listening. how we build together. Trust. Listening to you. She, if she, she doesn't call you or text you as much, you always have to initiate. Always have to initiate? Oh, yeah. Always? Throwing always. The towel. Always. One sided. It's one sided. Yeah, that's one sided. I agree. Most she, of these are one sided. She doesn't feel like dressing up. You start seeing the bonnet, you start seeing the hair not looking good. You start realizing that she's not dressing up for you. Like she used to. Date nights, it's just jeans. You have your nice little get up. But you going. still dress up nice, yeah, right? Yeah. Wow, you showed up and she wasn't showing she, up. She dressed. starts showing. I'm thinking in the future. I'll, okay. I'll, give, I'll, I'll be the. You I give can, it a, I can give challenge it. A mid? it. Okay. I want, I want to give a mid, but I have why, to. Ch- why would you challenge it? Yeah. Um, I think as we get older, there are certain things that become less important that are, even though you would like it, it's not a deal breaker. Like the older we get, I think we care now, but as we get older, it's like, I would like that, but I ain't leaving you and you ain't leaving me, so screw it. Yeah. 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 At least dress it up. That's why I would give mid. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. So the last question I would ask, right, when should you throw in a towel? If when you guys are having physical time. She won't eat the booty? (laughs) That's a girl. That's a girl. Yo, see, I got you no. back. I got you back. No, no laughing over I here. I had the too. thumbs up, but <laughs> but but um, going. but when you, she's she doesn't seem too into it. You're asking for certain things. She's uh, she's giving you half ass head, half ass sex, mm-hmm. half ass riding. Yeah, because yeah. nobody wants to be undesirable in bed. Right. You gotta put in work. You gotta put in effort. And like, imagine matter. being a person like, oh, I gotta go in there and sleep with you. Mm-hmm. It's a chore. <sighs> Nobody wants to yeah, be so much chore. Sex. Once, once things become a chore, it, it's it's a wrap. Right. Got rid of that spark. Just going through the motions. Yeah, just separate and then file divorce so, papers a year after. So, real quick, guys, I think this was really good, and thank you for being a part of the yes, little game yes. show. So, what are some signs, or no, sorry, what are some tips that we would give? Men, and we'll start with you. Yes, a tip that you'll give men to to realize it's time to move on. Um, you overstayed your welcome. You overstayed. Your welcome. Once she's no longer engaged into you, when she's no longer into you, and you can tell that when she's withdrawn, at that point you feel a drift, you feel a space, a void between you guys. I think it's, it's, it's time to start looking elsewhere. You yeah, know, that's why we go to the sneaker know. store. You know, we still got these shoes on, but we still looking for some new shoes. I can't hold mm. on you feel anymore. me? What about you, Fisher? Don't get too comfortable. <laughs> uh, when, when, was it, when should we? What are what some time? tips that you should get, you would give men when it's time to move on? Um, okay. Um, tips is when it's time to move on. Um, Move on when you feel like you're what you what you had on the first date and what you had in the beginning is no longer there. When you feel that light is no longer there, like you're meeting at that table or at that first date, and 
she's so disengaged or disconnected from it. She can't remember it. She doesn't want to feel it that way. Everything that you felt and the feelings that you had in the beginning, when those things have now gone, yeah, it's time to move on. I Spark I would kind of challenge I'll, yeah, you. Yeah, I want to challenge you a little bit. The first because, dates, no, the because core. we we constantly grow. Yeah, it's a feelings so how, change. Feelings change. So you're saying like if you don't have that same initial, like as we grow, we grow differently. Yeah. We grow and differently, they, but it never stopped you from the initial what your intentions were when your first date when you were. You're dating, saying intention. Intention, yes. Oh, intention. Okay, Sorry, I, intention. I can see that. My fault. Intention. No, because I'm thinking feeling. Because feelings is so. Oh, that feelings changes. and facts is two yeah, different things. Changed. Feelings ain't facts. You're right. Right. But when facts come and. You know what? You gotta you gotta understand. These are the facts, yeah, and this is okay. life. So at this point, what so were your intentions? Mean. Because if so facts are, hey, now I'm an entrepreneur. I once was working my nine to five as dependable. We have all this now. These are the facts. This is how we have to evolve. We have to change. If you can't do it, and you want to give me that mediocre, and you want to be right. half-assed in the conversations, then yeah, I gotta evolve and change and leave. And leave. I love that. What about mm-hmm. you, bro? I'm gonna keep it short and simple. It's time to go when. You have reached the point where you are your non-negotiables are being infringed upon. If your non-negotiable is physical mm. touch, and they're not giving you that, it's time to go. If your non-negotiable is a certain amount of communication, mm-hmm. and they're not fulfilling that, it's time to go. If your non-negotiable is maintaining a certain level of attraction, and they don't choose to yep. do that, with it's time to go. If that is your non-negotiable, I can't speak for you, but if it is, that's when it's time to go. Plain and simple. Mm. And um, what I would say, that was really good. That was really good. So I would just say, as men, we sometimes linger way too long. We stay in something. We know it's it's burnt up, it's dried, but we're trying to... (laughs) No, we're trying to water the Sahara Desert and think it's going to turn into a rainforest. Why you hating mm. on sugar mamas, bro? Nah, nah, not that. <laughs> I, I love you, ladies. No, but but we have to realize if you start seeing some of these questions that I've asked them, and you saw the thumbs up, if you see more than five, start questioning and make your transition to leave. But you know what that also leads to? That leads to accountability. Right. That is the word of the day. Introspection, accountability. As yeah, always. understand as men. What you want, and just like they are not going to change for nothing, you hold on to your guns, right? Mm -hmm. So, hi, my name is Micaiah. Will you join me? Hello, guys. This is DeJounte, the fellow co-host from Peep the Swamp, or shall I say Peep this Word of Mouth. You heard the episode and the things we discussed about. Listen, fellas, if you're in a relationship, you're working hard, trying your best to see and make things work, understand and value your time and your presence and who you are as a person and where you want to go. If you feel like the effort is not being put back in, if you're not valued, if you're not respected, maybe it's time to throw in that towel. And with that, I'll leave you my advice for the day. It's by one of my favorite authors, Rolf Waldo Emerson. And he said, one acorn planted can populate a forest of a thousand trees. And what that goes to say is that our actions, no matter how small, little, mid, or big, it sends a ripple effect out. We affect everyone. And it's through our actions that we leave our legacy. So we appreciate every single one of y'all. Keep tuning in. We got more content, more exciting things to come. We appreciate every single bit of you. So... Ladies, fellas, have a blessed night. Until next time.